In this presentation, I want to talk about making up splits or nucleus colonies. And there's a number of reasons why we do it. One of them, if we want to make increase, we want to increase the number of highs we've got. We make them up to replace losses. Um, currently, if you believe the stats that are around, probably about 10% of colonies don't make it through the year. So you'll always have to be making up another 10% to keep the same number of hives. Some people do it for swarm control. Some might people do it for double queening. Also for mating ukes. Um, you need some more colonies to put cells in so that they can go and get mated. And also it's used for requeening. Um, mostly where people are going through and finding the queen and they just take the frame out with the queen on and put it in a nuke box until they see where the new queens have taken. So if, there's, if some of those new queens haven't survived, they can take the old queen and then put it back in those, those hives that, don't, that are queenless. It's kind of a, a backup for it. And there are two ways of doing, making them up. You can go through, and I guess the most common one, is go through and find the queen and then take out once you know where she is, you can either take her out and put her in the nuke, or you can take frames of bees and brood without the queen and put her in the nuke box. Or the second way, which is the way that I like, is you just lift a couple of frames of brood, shake the bees off them, and put them above an excluder on the same hive. Go away, and you come back, and 20 or 30 minutes later, the bees have, will have come through and covered those frames, and ex that's all the bees except the queen. So the queen will still be down the bottom, so you can take those frames off, off and put them into a nuke box. Now the size of the nuke box, the nuke that you're making, really depends on what you want it for and when you're doing it. Mating nukes are usually much smaller because and you need large numbers of them because you're putting large numbers of, of queen cells in them to get mated. But you have to be careful. We've got data from a particular disorder we see in New Zealand, which is half moon disorder, um, which happens, you look at a frame and the queen appears not to be laying properly. There's drone um, brood in worker cells um, and there's larvae curling up the inside of the cells and the colony is going to die eventually if you don't do something about it. And what we think of that as the cause is those mating nukes don't have enough bees in them when you make them up to start off with. So you want to make, prob to start off with, probably a thousand bees in there just to make sure there's no danger of, of having problems with your queens. For splits, the size depends on when you're making them. Um, if you're making them up in the spring, then they don't have to be as strong because they, they'll get to a reasonable strength at the end of the season. They probably won't get you any surplus honey, but at least they'll be in a good position to go in the winter. In the autumn, you don't need as many bees in your main hive, so you can make your colony stronger at that stage, your nucleus colonies, your splits, to get them all the way through. If you're using it as a requeening, for requeening, i.e. just saving your old queen in case you need it, you probably just need one frame of bees and brood on it on the way through. Now, time of year, it's easiest to do all these things in the spring. But the disadvantage, of course, if you're taking bees and brood away from your hive in the spring, it may affect your honey that you're going to collect in those colonies. Autumn is always the best time to be doing splits, although it's much harder to do it because there's so many more bees, there's a lot of robbing, the bees are aggressive, and it's much harder to find the queen. So you have to use techniques to find the queen by using those... Um, as I described before, use a queen excluder above a box. So in summary, the splits that you make, there's a whole lot of reasons for it, and it's going to affect what you do a little bit on, on what, they, what you're using it for. Um, mating nukes are going to be smaller than splits. Autumn splits are going to be stronger than sp string, spring splits because they're going straight into winter and won't have the, the choice to expand anymore. If you're thinking about removing bees and brood in the spring, just have in your mind that the more bees and brood you take out of your hives, the less honey your colonies will collect.